I agree. Let's take a phone call. Hello. 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 How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary. Okay, I've been watching uh, your program about the relationship. Uh huh. Last week, I uh, watched about uh, what men wish women knew about. Now, mm -hmm. today, most of the discussion that I've been to what you're saying, I believe, I guess, there is mostly going on to feel what then when we when she's talking about her and what she 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 does what her relationship like it's like the last visit, the discussion we had so i'd rather you go into it very much into it what women what us we want men to know about us like there's this thing with my boyfriend i've been with my boyfriend for the last two years Mm -hmm. But you see now, anytime I ask him a straightforward question, maybe there's this lady who has been SMSing him. When I ask him what is it with this guy, two of them, straight answers. Have to worry about this lady, then have to worry about her. So tell me straight away what is it between them. Okay. Um, Rosemary, have you expressed to him what you want in the relationship? Hello? Okay. We seem to have lost Rosemary there. I wanted to engage her a little bit. Let's move on. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Uh, good morning. Just a quick comment. Uh -huh. just, um, I'm just glad for, for, for your guest, what she's doing. It's really awesome. All right. She's thanks. more people as possible. Okay. Uh -huh. Good night. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Some words of encouragement. Rosemary didn't quite get the gist of it um, towards the end but she says she's been dating this man for two years every time she asks him a question he's always um, you know he'll go sidestep it a little bit what's we talked about this before how do you get a man to get you a straight answer because a lot of what we do and we talked about this last week is we pin him down and we and we ambush him and we say all these sort of things and what a man does is he clams up immediately and he won't say a word so how do you make sure that you actually speak to him and you can have a meaningful conversation where you can get the answers that you want as a woman. I think to get a man to communicate, it is important that he feels comfortable. We can't get a man to communicate if we make them uncomfortable. So how do you make a man comfortable? If you're in a relationship with a man, you need to know how to make the man feel comfortable and then let him open up and then say to him that this relationship needs help because there's a certain aspect that's not working. So mm -hmm. whatever question she, she wants answered, if it's not being answered, either it's because he doesn't want to answer. Okay. There's that possibility. Yes, right. that he's, he's actually hiding something. Mm -hmm. Then she really needs to look at the reality of the situation. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a question that uh, maybe he can't respond to it, because maybe it's not in his, he's not able to, mm -hmm. or maybe he's just not comfortable. Okay. So there are three options. I mean, it's never just one thing. Yes. And I think making a man comfortable in communication is our duty as women mm. to help re-socialize men. I talk about this all the time. We can't keep blaming men. Our mothers, our grandmothers, our sisters, we're all socialized in such a way that men are brought up in a different way. Yeah. And then suddenly they become husbands and we want them to be different. Mm -hmm. But we treated our brothers in the same way. Uh -huh. And we need to Hoping that they would become better yeah. husbands. Right. So if we want our men to be different, we need to start helping them to be different. Mm. We need to help them to understand how to be different. They don't know how. And then they talk amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. How can they help each other? Because they don't know how. So if women don't start helping men to re-socialize and to re uh, re-look at the way they communicate, how they behave, their attitude. I mean, you know, you look at uh, affairs in this country. Everyone's having a mistress, a second mistress, and now it's a third one even, all right? <laughs> and what is that about? It's because it's become part of the, it's okay. It isn't okay. It really isn't okay. So how are we going to change that? We need to make them, we, we need to start making them understand it's not okay. We need to start making them understand what's okay. But doing it in a way that it makes everybody comfortable. 
and making sure that it's understood that it's going to be for the benefit of the two of them, for their family unit, and for the whole. Okay. So the ambush, not a good idea? No. No. He gets home and the first thing you do is, where have you been? And uh, who's this from? And what's this? And what's going on? And, and then he picks up his jacket and he goes out. And he goes back out. For a drink. Yes. yes. And probably and well, he's out else. for a drink. And yeah, we know who else he'll probably meet and, and do whatever. There's this email that goes uh, back and forth. And it's forwarded that when a woman says yes, she means no. When she says no, she means yes. When she says maybe. When she says fine, it's how to interpret what a woman is saying. When she says fine, everything's not fine. When she says okay, that means... Are we really that way? Yes. That, 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 that <laughs> email must have had a lot of research done. <laughs> because even though it sounds so simple, yeah. it, is, it is the way we communicate. Because we think that the way we say no, our tone will indicate we mean yes. Men are not mind readers. We need to be very clear and understand men are not mind readers. In fact, women can read minds in a better way than men can. <laughs> men can. Men need to hear the words and they need to hear it twice, mostly. Okay? So if we're not clear, if we mean no, we need to say no. If we mean yes, we need to say yes. Men are not going to know the difference unless we're clear. <laughs> Okay, I like how you said it's spot on and they must have done their research. Let's take our final calls this morning. Hello? All right, okay. Um, let's, let's just wind up this discussion um, talking about generally what women expect. And then perhaps, of course, we can't talk about women without talking about men. And then what men expect. And hopefully, at the end of this, we'll have understood each other a little better and, and move forward, you know, in sync. What is it that women expect generally? in relationships with men? Attention, encouragement, uh, wanting to be the only apple in a man's eye, um, nurturing, caring, being taken care of. Uh, but you know, even though we fight that, Every woman wants to be taken care of. Even though she's earning more money? Yes. She there wants is to be that taken care of. nurturing and she wants to be nurtured, cared okay. for. Right. Yeah? Um, and if she doesn't, then she really needs to look at her masculine part because that may have gone mm -hmm. really high up. Mm -hmm. And women also want, now in this day and age, want to have an equal platform to provide opinions, views, communication, and be recognized for that. So a parallel, a balanced platform. Okay. Woman doesn't want to be put down anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's my sum up of okay. what, what a woman wants. Right. A man, I think men need a, lo a lot of encouragement today as well because they are pretty scared about the modern woman. Yeah. <laughs> so they need some help with that. Um, Men need to be communicated with clearly, clearly, clearly. I've said it three times now. Yes. Okay. Uh, they need to get the message in concise, precise, as short as possible requirements and requests. Uh, men need, men need nurturing. Oh my goodness, well. men need nurturing. Okay. Men need caring as well. This is a human thing for both. Um, men also like to be encouraged as in they also like to feel like they're the only man around. I mean, this is something that you do in a relationship between two people anyway. Um, what else do men like? Oh, I must say this, I must say this. I have had so many men say to me mm -hmm. that they want women to be more natural. They're tired <laughs> of one. all the extra hair yes. and <laughs> extra eyelashes, eyelashes yeah. and the nails. I've had so many men say this to me, it is crazy. So they want women to be natural. So as much as we're being modern. I don't know if that's modern or if that's it. We just don't <laughs> want to accept that we look in a certain way. <laughs> that this way. is who we yeah. are, this is what our hair looks yeah, like. Yeah, because they want to wake up with the same woman. That they, yeah, went to bed Yeah, with. but not find that, you know, it's a completely different woman yeah, in the, mo you, warm, in the morning. Yeah, unrecognizable. Yes. The so hair is gone, <laughs> the eyelashes are gone. The <laughs> so, so it's amazing how many men actually love their women natural. So, um, so I would say, you know, what men and women really want is not so far apart. Yeah. We just have to be very clear on the way we communicate so that men understand. Okay. And once they understand, 
you've got a man eating out of your hand. Mm. It's important. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, especially with the parting shot there about women being natural. It's, it's the greatest challenge for women today, I think, to remain who they are. Thank you very much for your time. We'd definitely love to have you here with Chris Hart. It would be an interesting conversation to have mm -hmm. with the two of you together. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Bon. Thank you very much. We've been speaking to Tazim Elkington about what women wish men knew. We started this off last week and we hope to culminate that this week. And the whole idea is that we understand that we're made differently and to understand those differences and therefore work on that and bear that in mind when we're in these relationships. Um, but at the end of the day, I think basically, as we're all human beings, we all want the same thing, which is the need to be loved, to be cared for, to be nurtured. Um, don't forget, the book that Tazim and so many other high achieving women have been uh, featured in is called Life's Journeys, Seeking Destiny, Conversations with High Achieving Women in Kenya. It's a wonderful book, a gem, something to keep and you can read over and over and take your time because it's got lots and lots of Kenyan women doing fantastic things, celebrating the Kenyan woman. We thank you for your time this morning. If you would like to know more about Tazim Elkington, the work that she does, www.tazim.net. Um, definitely log on there. She's got a lot of work she does with men and women, with human beings in general, and just making sure we get ourselves in the right direction in our relationships, in our career, in our work, in our money. You name it, tazim.net is the website. Alternatively, you can also email us NTV this morning at ke.nationmedia.com or send us an, an SMS on 5505. Thank you for watching today and throughout the week. Have a lovely weekend ahead. We'll see you on Monday. My name is Yvonne O'Clara. Bye bye.